enough for layer one, and then we'll go up, you know, successive layers of like bluish and white to the top, but next will be like a neutrally baby blue on top of the gray to kind of bring it up. Detail is feeling good. I'm gonna get some water. Yeah, um, let's see, I started off listening to the new 2 Chains, uh, Pretty Girls Like Trap Music. That's a really good album, I enjoy that. It's a little bit more on the mellow side, which is good. Um, and then I got like this, uh, this sort of mix of uh, Blanco Billions. Um, it's like an extra wavy, wavy, like, like super chillax vacation mix. So that was feeling really good today. A little bit of Future, uh, a little bit of DJ Smokey Triple Six. So, all a bunch of kind of, you know, some funky new stuff, kind of wavy shit. Um, you know, I've been really listening to is a lot of Neptune Towers. I, you know, that's something I discovered on YouTube the other day, and I've been doing a lot of that. Some ultra wavy, dark, trippy, ambient, like space ambient, but not like corny space ambient. Like it's almost as though they recorded sounds of Neptune and then warped them. So it's like it's this really dark, warpy, wavy. You know. Like it's it, it puts you in like a weird zone. So I've been doing a lot of that too. Where is where is like the places you go when you get taken away? Yeah, man, I don't even know. It's just like I feel you know something. It's weird. Like sometimes I'll be working on something. I got my photo reference, you know, and I'm in my zone and I'm hitting all the spots and doing and getting myself, you know, the likeness is right. Everything's good. I'm in my zone, and it's weird. You get into like a place where existence sort of disappears and like. Like, I kind of go blind in a way. It sounds really weird, but like, I stop registering what I'm working on and it becomes like a total flow. Like, I don't, I'm not even thinking about what I'm working on. I'm thinking about, you know, other projects, the future, what what I want to do next. You know what I mean? Uh, like, astral projection, whatever. I'm like floating around in damn space. But what I'm not doing is actually paying attention to anything on the wall or in my hand at all. And I've, and I've hurt. I've heard about this zone, you know, you, you study, like, old other artists, you know, inventors, you know, whatever, past people, geniuses, and all these people, and you find there's like a, what they call like a flow zone, you know what I mean, and some people, oh, I'm in the zone, or whatever, it's all the same thing, but like, there's almost like a scientific kind of description, you know, it's like this flow zone where everything just connects. And when that happens, it's it's like so. I, I work in like fits and spurts, you know what I mean. And those those fits and those spurts are those those flow zones. And so the not painting time is as important as the painting time because the not painting time is the contemplation time. And you eat a bit of food, you know, have some water, stare at what you're doing, meditate, smoke some weed, you know, and all of those things. It's just as important because that's what helps get you to that flow zone so the second I pick up that can I'm already there. I guess that tr that directly relates to you know, the other questions about energy level and we're talking about energy flow not like are you tired are you do you have a lot of energy but like as far as kinetic artistic creative flow zone energy you know what I mean like you can conjure it's like magic you know what I mean like the off time you know like there's something about Smoke, you know, smoking a blunt, smoking a bowl or something, and you know, like eating a bit of good food and just sitting there and really like letting your brain relax and like get in, go inside of the mural, go inside of the art, you know, in your own mind and like, you know, I meditate. I'll meditate on the site, on job sites and stuff like that, and really try to just feel it for real, feel it, you know. And then so that the second I pick up that can, I'm in that, I'm in that fit and that spurt that that flow zone and then right, it just is so like now, you know when you see like a time lapse and it's like people are moving so fast that they're blurry but it's like this you know it almost looks like math you know and, and all the Fibonacci stuff it's how it feels you know the blur and the, the violins and the you know and that sort of like magical mystical area of existence it's like trans-dimensional or something I don't know I mean I do know but it, you know I don't know if other people do. <laughs> so like the different kind of energies in different type of walls, it's definitely different when it comes to like say a commercial piece, you know, even like a branded commercial piece as opposed to like uh, just a regular uh, private or um, commercial piece that's like 
you know, it's still considered like fine or whatever because I get to paint whatever I want. Um, and so there's like, when you're doing like something like a branded piece that's like super commercial, obviously it's not so much emotional energy. It's just, okay, here's the ad or whatever, do this exactly. Um, and it doesn't affect like the skill level or, you know, the, uh, the uh, final outcome or anything like that. It's just, you're not married to it at all. You know, it's, I mean, let's be real, it's a paycheck, so. Um, but then, say you're working on, like, say something like this, it's a memorial piece, like, yeah, as an artist, and I'm, you know, this is coming from my heart, my soul, and then we're using images that are very important to the family of, like, you know, deceased uh, kids, you know, like, the, they're deceased kids, and so that you, it's very sensitive, and it's a lot of very deep, you know, sensitive, emotional energy, and, like, if I'm, say, having, like, a really stressful day before I have to come work because you know running the business it's like okay I've got I got office stuff I've got lots of other things I do besides paint right and so if the energy isn't right that day if, if I'm if I got to be too focused on something else then I don't I can't go work on it you know because I don't want to be like upset or overly stressed or anything like that and the family understands that um, because it's got to be all like positive flow yeah to a lot of people it sounds like some wooey woo hippie shit but the reality is, is like, as artists, you know, we put our emotional states in our pieces whether we like it or not, and it shows.